Hello everyone, here we are back again at Dan's Beer Reviews. Time for another wonderful review of, hopefully, a very good beer. Um, this is a beer from the lovely folks at Workhorse Brewing. And they have made a prickly pear margarita goza, which is a German style beer, once again, sour with some sea salt. And this one includes some prickly pear cactus fruit. Which I've never had before. This sounds very intriguing. Their brewery is located up in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, and I've had many lovely beers from them before. They were kind enough to deliver a bunch during the pandemic, and boy was that a lifesaver for my sanity at that point. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got a, a bit of an aggressive pour there, a bit of a yellowish red color to the beer. You can definitely smell the sour coming off of that. An interesting lemon and that I well, never smelled cactus before, but I gather that's a tasty odor behind it there. Let's swirl the beer around in the can to see if we get any extra yeasty flavors or any good stuff out of the can there. Some more flavor in the can, into the glass. From the can into the glass. Ha! Can't speak English today. Anyhow, so here's our lovely beer. Smelling that again. Oh boy, that is mm, all kinds of interesting. And yeah, the sour, lemon, whatever this cactus flavor is going to be like. Not sure how to quite explain it. More of a nectarine, maybe? Somewhere between nectarine and mango on that scale there, somewhere. Anyway. Cheers, everyone. Let's dive in and see what we get. Ooh. That's a very... Mmm. Nice salt. Back end. That fruit flavor from the cactus is very... Almost cinnamon. Not sure why I'm getting a cinnamon flavor from the beer. Doesn't say there is any. And the sour tang hangs around a bit. It's a very interesting beer. Not had anything like it before. Hmm. Still trying to figure out what that flavor is. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's almost like a like a granny apple. Good tang, and then a little bit of lemon. Good salt flavor at the back. Mmm, boy. Another cheerful one from lovely folks at Workhorse. And I like the can art because they don't try to distract you with a bunch of graphics and stuff. It just tells you what the beer is on the can. That makes it nice. So, if any of you folks are wondering, next week hopefully I'll have a nice New England IPA to review. I'm wandering into the city tomorrow, or Saturday rather, uh, half day off from work, and I'm going to check out the Punch Buggy Brewing Company. I'll post a link in the description below. Um, a new brewery to me, it appears they've been around a couple of years at this point, and I'll also be taking the delayed trip to Human Robot as well. Um, any upcoming uh, beer events? Uh, None right at the moment, though at the end of July I'll be exploring the Northeast Pennsylvania area, collecting some beer from up there, possibly posting a couple of beer reviews from my dad's place in the Poconos, so we may see some interesting uh, beer up in that direction from Wall and Pawpack Brewing and possibly Hoppy Eagle, and I'm trying to remember the other place, oh Jam Room, Jam Room, they didn't have a dedicated canning line but they did do crowlers and that was quite nice. So. See you all next week with a new beer review.